Chapter sixty six of Jerusalem to Revelations A Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. Paradiso nine. The third heaven, Venus, the happiness of love. THE SPIRITS OF LOVERS After thy Charles, fair Clements, had resolved my doubts, he told me of the treacheries his offspring were to undergo, and said, Be silent now, and let the years roll by. Hence I can only say to you that tears will justly follow on your people's wrongs. And now the spirit of that holy light, Back to the sun which filleth it had turned, As to the good which sateth everything. Alas, ye souls deceived and impious creatures, Who from such goodness tear your hearts away, And turn your temples unto vanity. And hereupon, Another of those splendours in my direction came, and signified, by brightening outwardly, its wish to please me. The eyes of Beatrice, which as before were fixed upon me, gave me full assurance of her beloved assent to my desire. Prithee, blessed spirit, satisfy my wish at once, I therefore said and give me proof that what I think I can reflect in thee. Whereat the light, which still was new to me, out of its depths, whence it had sung before, went on, like one whom doing good delights. In that part of Italia's evil land, which tween Rialto's island and the Brenters, and Piab's fountain-heads is situated, a hill ascends, nor rises very high, whence once a torch came down, which terribly assaulted all the country round about. From one same root both I and it were born. Kunitsa called, I here refulgent am, because the light of this star vanquished me. But gladly I forgive myself the cause of my allotment here, which grieves me not which to your common people might seem strange. Of this dear, brilliant jewel of our heaven, which nearest is to me, a mighty fame remains behind, and ere it die away, this hundredth year will yet quintupled be. See whether one should excellent become, so that the first may leave another life. But thus the present mob, the adiges, and taliamento streams and close thinks not, nor doth it yet, though scourged by wars, repent. But at the marsh twill happen soon, that Padua will change the waters which Vicenza obeyed, because its folk were restive to their duty and where the sailor and Cagnano make, one lordeth it, and goes with head erect, for trapping whom even now the net is made. Feltro will yet bewail the faithlessness of its bad shepherd, which will be so foul that Malta was not entered for the like. Too large would be the wine vat which could hold all the Ferrara blood, and weary one who tried to weigh it ounce by ounce, which shall this courteous priest's donation be to prove his party loyalty, and gifts like this will with the country's life conform. Mirrors there are above, ye call them thrones, whence honest God as judge reflects his light, 
so that these words of ours seem good to us. She here ceased speaking, then intent she seemed on something else, because she set herself to wheel around, as previously she did. The other joy, already known to me as something noble, in my sight became a perfect ruby smitten by the sun. Splendour up yonder is by joy acquired, as smiles are here, but down below a shade outwardly darkens when the mind grows sad. God seeth all, I said, and thy will so in hymns itself, blessed spirit, that no wish can rob thee of itself. Therefore thy voice, which with the song of those devoted fires, who with their six wings make themselves a cowl, is always charming heaven. Why gives it not contentment to my wishes? I, indeed, would not await thy asking me, if I in thee myself, as thou in meest thee. The greatest valley, o'er which water spread, Thereat his words began, Except the sea, which forms a garland round the earth, Extends counter the sun so far tween alien shores, That it can make meridian of a place, Where it is wont to make horizon first. On that sea's shore I dwelt tween Ebro's mouth and Magra's, Which for but a short way parts the Tuscan region from the Genoese, with almost equal set and rise of sun, sits both Bugea and the city whence I was, which with its blood once warmed its port. Falco, that people called me, unto whom my name was known, and this heaven is by me impressed, as I was formerly by it. For Bella's daughter, when she troubled both Sicaeus and Creusa, burned no more than I, as long as it beseemed my hair. Nor did that Rhodopean maid, whose love Demophoon deceived, nor yet Alcides, while in his heart he kept Iole locked. Yet we are not repenting here, but smiling, not for the sin which to our minds returns not, but for the worth which ordered and foresaw. Here at the art we gaze which beautifies so great a work, and only see the goodness whereby the world above turns that below. But so that thou mayst bear away with thee thy wishes all fulfilled, which in this sphere were born, still further must I needs proceed. Who is within this light thou fain wouldst know, which right here at my very side is sparkling, as rays of sunlight shine in limpid water, Know then that Rahab finds her rest therein, and to our order being joined, with her it stamps itself in a supreme degree. By this heaven, where the shadow your world makes, ends in a point, before all other souls was she received, that triumph with the Christ. It well behooved to leave her in some heaven to be a palm of that great victory which by both hands was won, because she favoured Joshua's first glory in the Holy Land, which little stirs the memory of the Pope. Thy town, which is a plant once sowed by him, who first against his maker turned his back, and through whose envy many tears are shed, brings forth and spreads abroad the cursed flower, which, having of the shepherd made a wolf, hath caused both sheep and lambs to go astray. The Gospels and great doctors are for this despised, and only the decretals come, as is apparent, by their margin state. On this are Pope and Cardinals intent, their thoughts turn not toward Nazareth, where Gabriel once hoped his wings but both the Vatican and all the other chosen parts of Rome, of all the burial place of that militia which followed in the path which Peter trod, will soon be freed from
from this adultery. Paradiso 10 The Fourth Heaven The Sun Intellectual Happiness The Spirits of Theologians and Philosophers Looking upon his son with all the love which both of them eternally breathe forth, the primal and unutterable power which so great order made, what e'er revolves through mind or space, that none who look at it can ever be without a taste of him. Lift, therefore, reader, to the heavenly wheels thine eyes with me, directly to the region where one of their two motions strikes the other, and there begin to contemplate with love that master's art who in himself so loves it that never doth his eye abandon it and now see how from thence the oblique ring which bears the planets with it branches off to please the world which calls upon them how in case their path were not thus bent aside in vain would be much virtue in the heavens and dead well nigh all potencies down here and how if from the straight line more or less removed it swerved much in the mundane order would lacking be below and up above now reader on thy bench remain and what is here foretasted follow out in thought if thou e'er weary wouldst be very glad food have i set before thee feed thou now thyself because the theme whose scribe i made unto itself is resting all my care the greatest of the ministers of nature which with the power of heaven imprints the world and with its light measures our time for us joined with the section touched upon above was circling now around the spiral rings wherein it earlier shows itself each day and i was in it but was not aware of my ascent except as one before a thought has come is conscious of its coming tis beatrice who thus from good to better conducts one with such swiftness that her act extendeth not through time in its own self how bright must that have been which in the sun which i had entered was not visible by colour but by light though i on genius practice and art should call i could not so describe it that it e'er could be imagined but it can be believed and sight of it should be desired and for such heights, if low be our imagination, is no wonder, for no eye ever reached beyond the sun. Such the fourth family here of that exalted father, who ever states it by revealing how he breathes forth and how he generates. And Beatrice began give thanks give thanks unto the angel son who of his grace hath raised thee up to this material one no mortal heart was ever so disposed to be devoted and with all its pleasure give itself up to god as i became at those last words of hers hence all my love set itself so on him that beatrice in my forgetting mind became eclipsed, and she disliked it not, but smiled at it, so that the splendour of her laughing eyes shared with more things my undivided mind. I many keen and dazzling splendours saw, whose sweeter voice than in appearance bright made us a centre and themselves a crown. Latona's daughter we behold at times thus girded 
when so pregnant is the air that it retains the thread that forms her zone within the court of heaven whence i return are many jewels found so fair and precious that from the kingdom they may not be moved and of these was the singing of those lights let him who doth not feather him to fly up there await the dumb for news from thence and then when singing thus those burning suns had all around us whirled themselves three times like stars that near unmoving poles revolve ladies they seem to me who though not through with dancing yet in silence stop a while and list till they have caught the music's coming notes in one i heard beginning since the ray of grace whereby true love is set on fire and afterward by dint of loving grows and multiplies is shining in thee so that it conducts thee upward o'er the stairs which none without remounting air descends he who thy thirst the wine within his flask refused would be no more at liberty than water is which falls not to the sea thou fain wouldst know what blooms this wreath and flowers itself with all which circling round her woos the lady fair who makes thee strong for heaven one of that holy flocks young lambs was i which dominic leads along the path whereon one thriveth well if one go not astray the nearest on my right here was my brother and teacher he was albert of cologne and thomas of aquinum i if thus of all the other lights thou wouldst be sure follow behind my speaking with thy face revolving upward round the blessed wreath that other flaming issues from the smile of gratia who to both the courts of law was such a help that paradise is pleased the next who at his side adorns our choir that peter was who like the needy widow offered his treasure up to holy church the fifth light which is fairest in our midst is with such love inspired that all the world down there is hungry to have news of it in it is that great mind wherein was placed wisdom so deep that if the truth be true no second hath arisen to see so much see next to it that candle's light which saw most inwardly when in the flesh below the angel's nature and their ministry in the next little light that advocate of christian times is smiling of whose work in latin augustine availed himself if now thy mind's eye thou art moving on from light to light behind my words of praise thou now remainest thirsting for the eighth because it sees all good things there within that holy soul rejoices which reveals the cheating world to one who hears him well down yonder in Kieldaro lies the body from which this soul was driven and to this peace from martyrdom and banishment it came flaming beyond it see the burning breath of isidore of bede and of ricardo who was in speculation more than man and this from whom thy glance returns to me the light is of a spirit unto whom in deep thoughts lost it seemed that death came slowly this is the light eternal of sigieri who when he lectured in the street of straw proved by his syllogisms displeasing truths then like a clock which calls us at the hour 
at which the bride of god awakes to sing her spouse a morning song and win his love and as one part or draws or drives the other and sounds ting ting with such delightful notes that spirits well disposed are filled with love even so i saw that glorious circle move and fuse its voices in a harmony and with a sweetness which cannot be known except where joy is self-eternalized paradiso eleven the fourth heaven the sun intellectual happiness the spirits of theologians and philosophers saint francis o oh, foolish care of mortal men how full of fallacies the syllogisms which cause thee over another course to beat thy wings one given to legal learning went his way one medicine the priesthood one pursued and lordship one by force or sophistry one practised theft and public business one one in the pleasures of the flesh involved was growing weary one to idleness and ease was giving up his life while i from all these things set free was up in heaven with beatrice so gloriously received when each had to the point returned again where in the ring he was before he stayed there still as a candle in a candlestick and i within the light which had before addressed me heard one smilingly begin as more and more resplendent it became as with its radiance i am shining here so i by gazing at the eternal light learn whence thou takest occasion for thy thoughts in doubt thou wouldst that i repeat in words so clear and so distinct that they will suit thine understanding that late speech of mine wherein i said whereon one thriveth well and where i said no second hath arisen for clearly must one needs distinguish here the providence which with that counsel rules the world whereby before it reach the bottom every created sight is overcome in order that the bride of him who cried aloud and spoused her with his blessed blood might go toward her delight safe in herself and unto him more faithful too ordained in her behalf two princes who should serve as guides to her on this side and on that one in his burning love was all seraphic the other by his wisdom was on earth a splendour of cherubic light i'll speak of one of them for both are spoken of when one is praised whichever one be taken for to the same end were the deeds of both between tupino and the stream that flows adown the hill which blessed ubaldo chose a lofty mountain's fertile slope impends from which perugia fields at portasola both cold and heat while for their heavy yoke behind it gualdo and nochera weep out of this hillside where it breaketh most its steepness to the world a son was born as out of ganges this one is at times therefore let him who talks about that place not say ascesi which were not enough but orient say if he would rightly speak not distant from his rising was he yet when he began to cause the world to feel somewhat encouraged by his wondrous virtue for still a youth he strove against his father for such a lady's sake that unto her as unto death none opened pleasure's door and then before his church's legal court and in his father's presence joined himself to her 
and ever after day by day loved her the more intensely she bereft of her first husband slighted and scorned remained unwooed eleven hundred years and more till that one came nor aught availed to hear that he whom all the world was fearing found her undaunted with ami class by his voice nor aught her being so unmoved and firm that even when mary stayed beneath it she went up with christ upon the cross but now lest in my long talk i proceed too darkly take poverty and francis as these lovers their concord and their joyful countenance caused wonder love and gentle looks to end in others holy thoughts and so much so that venerable bernard was the first to bear his feet and run behind such peace and running feel that he was slow of foot o oh, wealth unrealized o oh, fertile goodness egidio bears his feet sylvester his behind the groom so pleasing is the bride that father then and master went his way with both his lady and that family which now was girding on the humble cord nor let base-heartedness weigh down his brow for being peter bernardone's son nor yet for seeming so contemptible to others but revealed his stern resolve to innocent with royal dignity and won from him his order's primal seal when poverty's beloved followers had grown behind the man whose wondrous life would in the glory of heaven be better sung the holy purpose of this head of flocks was through honorius by the holy spirit crowned with a second crown thereafter when by reason of his thirst for martyrdom christ and the rest his followers he had preached before the haughty soldan and on finding his folk too restive to conversion not to stay in vain returned to pick the fruit of latin fields among the savage rocks which tween the tiber and the arno rise he took from christ himself the final seal which on his limbs he bore for two whole years when him it pleased who granted him such weal to draw him up to that reward which he by making himself lowly had deserved to his own brethren as to rightful heirs he recommended his most precious lady and ordered them to love her faithfully then from her bosom his illustrious soul willed to depart and to its realm returned and for its body wished no other beer think now what he was who as his companion was worthy deemed to keep the bark of peter true to its course when sailing on the deep that was our patriarch thou hence can see that he who follows him as he commands loadeth his vessel with good merchandise and yet his flock so greedy for new food hath grown that it can hardly fail to scatter through various wood and mountain pasture lands and hence the more his sheep like vagabonds wander away and further go from him emptier of milk do they regain the fold yet surely some there are who dreading harm cling to their shepherd but so few are these that little cloth will furnish them with cows if now my words have not been indistinct and if thy hearing hath attentive been and thou recall to mind what i have said partly contented will thy wishes be because thou see the plant whence hewn they are and what the limitation means whereon one thriveth well if one go not astray paradiso twelve 
the fourth heaven, the sun, intellectual happiness, the spirits of theologians and philosophers, Saint Dominic. As soon as ere the blessed flame had voiced its final word, the holy wheel began to whirl, and in its circling had not moved around completely, ere another wheel enclosed it in a ring, and each to each matched with its own its motions and its songs, songs which in those sweet pipes as far surpass our muses and our sirens as a primal splendour surpasses one reflected from it. As when, both parallel and like in hue, two rainbows or a tender cloud are drawn, when Juno issues orders to her maid, the outer being from the inner born, as is the speaking of that wandering nymph whom love consumed as mists are by the sun, and cause folk here, by reason of the pact which God with Noah made, to prophesy about the world that it will not again be flooded, so of those eternal roses the two wreaths turned around us there, and so the outer with the inmost harmonized. After the dance and great high feast of song and flaming interplay of light with light in joyful happiness and tender love had of a sudden and with one accord grown quiet even as eyes do which must close and open at the will of what attracts them out of the heart of one of those new lights a voice came forth as to its where i turned which made me seem a needle to its star and it began the love which lends me beauty draws me to talk about that other leader for whose sake mine is so well talked of here where one is right it is to introduce the other so that since they fought together their glories likewise may together shine christ's host which cost so much to arm anew was slowly timidly and small in numbers moving behind its standard when the emperor who ever reigns provided of his grace alone for his endangered host and not because of its deserts and helped his bride as it hath here been said with champions twain through whom because of what they did and said the people who had strayed away returned in those parts where sweet zephyr's breezes rise to open springtime's foliage where with all europe is seen to clothe herself again not very distant from the beating waves behind which through his long career the sun conceals himself at times from every one fortunate calaroga hath her seat guarded by that great shield in which the lion both subjugates and is subdued therein the amorous lover of the christian faith was born the holy athlete well disposed toward those he loved and toward his foes severe and even at its creation was his mind with such live virtue filled that in his mother it caused her to become a prophetess after the spousal tween the faith and him had at the sacred font been held where each with mutual health had dowered each the lady who answered for him in a dream beheld the wondrous fruit that was to come from him and from his heirs and that he might by name be what he was a spirit went from hence to give him the possessive of the one who wholly owned him dominic he was called and of him as the husbandman i speak whom christ to help him in his garden chose he truly seemed christ's messenger and servant because the first love which appeared in him was for the primal counsel given by christ often was he discovered by his nurse lying awake and silent on the ground as if he meant thereby i came for this o oh, felix of a truth his father was o oh, truly joan his mother 
if it mean what it is said to when interpreted. Not for the world's sake, for which men now toil, following the man of Ostia and Tadeo, but for the love of spirit food so great, a teacher did he shortly make himself, that he began to go about the vineyard, which withers soon, if idle be the vintner, and of the chair, which to the righteous poor was formerly more kind, not through its own, but through the fault of him who sitting there degenerates. He asked not for the right to give, or two, or three, for six, nor yet the income of the earliest vacancy, nor even the tithes which to God's poor belong, but leave to fight against the erring world for that seed's sake, whereof plants twenty-four are girding thee. With doctrine thereupon, and will, to apostolic sanction joined, he started, like a torrent by a high source urged, and on all stocks heretical his onset smote, and ever there most strongly, where strongest the resistance was. From him thereafter flowed diverse streams wherewith the garden Catholic is watered so, that all the fresher are its tender shrubs if such was one wheel of the car whereby the holy church herself defending won the civil struggle in her own domain the other's excellence should certainly be very plain to thee concerning whom thomas so courteous was ere i appeared and yet the rut formed by the highest part of its circumference so forsaken is that there where crust was now is mould his household which started out aright and kept their feet upon his footprints hath so turned around that that which is in front now treads on what was once behind and this will soon be seen by the bad culture's harvest when the tares will of their loss of granaries complain and yet i say that one who page by page should search our book would still some paper find where he could read what i was wont to be i am but from casali he'll not come nor yet from aquasparta when such men approach the rule that one evades and one contracts its scope bonaventura's life am i a bagnoregio who in great positions such sinister cares behind here are illuminato and augustine who were among the first barefooted poor and corded made themselves the friends of god hugh of saint victor here among them is and peter mangiador and peter of spain who in a dozen books still shines on earth nathan the prophet and metropolitan chrysostom anselm i and that donatus who to the first art deigned to set his hand raban is here and at my side is shining the abbot of calabria joachim who with prophetic spirit was endowed the flaming courtesy of brother thomas and his discerning speech have moved me thus to celebrate so great a paladin and with me likewise moved this company End of chapter 66「67 of Jerusalem to Revelations A Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. Paradiso 13 The Fourth Heaven The Sun intellectual happiness spirits of theologians and philosophers solomon's wisdom let him imagine who would understand aright what now i saw and 
let him hold the image like a steadfast rock the while i speak the fifteen stars which vivified the sky at different points with such clear light that vanquished is all denseness in the air let him imagine next that wane where to the bosom of our sky suffices so both night and day that as its pole revolves it never disappears and let him then imagine furthermore that trumpet's mouth which at the axle's point begins where on the first wheel turns and that all these had made two constellations of themselves like that which minos daughter fashioned when she felt the cold of death and one to have its rays within the other and both to so revolve that one moved forward and the other back and he will of the actual constellation a shadow have and of the double dance which circled round the place where i then was for it as far surpasses our experience as swifter than the chiana moves the heaven which outspeeds all the others there they praised nor bacchus nor apollo but three persons in one sole nature the divine and that in but one person with the human joined the song and dance completed each its measure whereat those holy lights gave heed to us rejoicing thus to pass from care to care and then the light wherein the wondrous life of god's dear pauper had been told to me of those harmonious gods the silence broke and said whereas one straw has now been threshed and as its seed hath now been stored away sweet love inviteth me to beat the other thou thinks that in the breast from which the rib was drawn which went to form the lovely cheek whose palate cost so much to all the world and that in that one which before and after the lance had pierced it made such satisfaction as to outweigh all sins whatever light our human nature is allowed the whole was by that power infused which made them both thou hence art marvelling at what above i said when i narrated that the good enclosed within the fifth light had no second o oh, now thine eyes to what i answer thee and thou see that my words and thy belief grow one in truth as in a ring its centre that which dies not and that which mortal is are naught but that idea's reflected light to which our sire by loving giveth birth for that bright light which from its loosened source so flows that it is not divided from him nor from the love which with them is enshrined out of its goodness gathers up its radiance mirrored as twere in nine subsistences itself eternally remaining one thence to the lowest creatures it descends from act to act and such becomes that naught it makes but brief contingencies and these contingencies i understand to be those generated things the moving heavens produce by means of seed and without seed of those the wax and that which mouldeth it are not of one same kind hence underneath the ideal stamp they more or less reflect it it hence results that after its own kind one self-same plant bears better fruit and worse 
and that with different natures ye are born. If tempered to perfection were the wax, and if the heavens were at their height of power, the whole light of the seal would be revealed. But nature, working as an artist doth, who hath, though skilled, and toward his art disposed, a trembling hand, ere gives it with a flaw. Hence, yet the flaming love dispose and stamp the lucid vision of the primal power, complete perfection is therein acquired. Thus, rendered worthy of an animal's complete perfection, was the earth of old. Thus also was the virgin rendered pregnant. Hence thine opinion I as true commend, that human nature never was nor will be such as it once in those two persons was. And now, if I no further went, how, then, could he be peerless, would thy words begin? But that what seems not so may now seem clear, think who he was, and what the cause which moved him in his request when ask was said to him. I have not spoken so, that thou shouldst not see clearly that a king he was, who asked wisdom to be a worthy king, and not to know the number of the angels here, nor whether from a necessary premise with one contingent, a necessity e'er followed as a result, nor yet to know if a first motion needs must granted be, nor whether a triangle could be made with no right angle in a semicircle. Hence, if thou note both what I said and this, a royal wisdom is that peerless vision on which the shaft of my intention strikes, and if too hath arisen, thou direct clear eyes, thou see that it refers to kings alone, who many are, and few the good. With this distinction take thou what I said, for it can stand with that which thou believest of man's first father, and of our delight. And let this e'er be led unto thy feet, to make thee, like one weary, slowly move to both the yea and nay thou seest not, for very low among the fools is he who affirms without distinction or denies in one as in the other case, because it happens that a quickly formed opinion is often in a wrong direction turned, and then the feelings bind the intellect. For worse than vainly leaveth he the shore who fishes for the truth and hath no skill, since, such as he set out, he comes not back, and in the world are patent proofs of this. Parmenides, Melesus, Bryson, I, and many who advanced, but knew not whither. So did Sabellius, Arius, and those fools who to the scriptures were as sword-blades are in making faces crooked which were straight. In judging, let not people be too sure, like him who in the field computes the ears, or ever they are ripe. For I have seen a thorn-bush seem all winter stiff and wild, and later bear a rose upon its top. And once I saw a vessel running straight, and swiftly o'er the sea through all her course, and end by sinking at the harbour's mouth. Let not Dame Bertha or Sir Martin think, on seeing one man rob and one give alms, that they behold them as they seem to God, for that one may get up and this one fall. Paradiso fourteen The fourth heaven 
the sun, the fifth heaven, Mars, the happiness of heroism. In rounded vessels, water moves from rim to centre, and from centre so to rim, according as one strikes it from without or from within. What I am saying here fell suddenly into my mind when once the glorious life of Thomas ceased to speak because of the resemblance which arose between his speech and that of Beatrice, who after him was pleased to speak as follows. This spirit needs, although he tells you so neither by voice nor even by thinking it, to reach the root of still another truth. Tell him, then, if the light wherewith your substance is flowering will remain with you the same eternally as even now it is, and if it still remains so, tell him how, when ye have been made visible again, it can be such as not to hurt your sight. As when, impelled and drawn by greater gladness, those who are dancing lift at times their voices and give their actions greater sprightliness. So, at that prompt and reverent request, the holy circles showed new joyousness both in their whirl and in their wondrous song. He that lamenteth that we die down here to live up yonder hath not seen up there the comfort of the eternal reign. That one, and two, and three, who ever lives and reigns in three, and two, and one, uncircumscribed, and circumscribing everything, was there by each and all of yonder spirits sung with such a melody that it would be a just reward for any one's desert and in the smallest rings divinest light i heard a gentle voice like that with which perhaps the angel spoke to mary answer as long as paradise's joy shall last so long our love will radiate around it a garment such as this its clarity is patterned on our ardour, and our ardour upon our vision, and as keen is that, as is the grace it hath above its worth. When with our glorious and perfected flesh were clothed again, our persons will give greater pleasure because of being all complete. Wherefore, whatever freely given light the good supreme may grant us, will increase a light permitting us to see him whence our vision needs must grow and grow the ardour which from it is enkindled and hence grow the radiance likewise which proceeds from this but as a burning coal emits a flame and by its vivid glow surpasses it so that its own appearance is maintained. So will this brightness which surrounds us now be vanquished in appearance by the flesh which still is covered by the earth. Nor will so great a light avail to weary us, because our body's organs will be strong for whatsoe'er is able to delight us. So quick and careful seemed both choirs to say amen that clearly a desire they showed to have their buried bodies and not perhaps for their own sakes alone but for their mothers and fathers and the others who were dear to them ere they became eternal flames then round us everywhere of equal brightness outside the lustre there Another rose, like an horizon which is growing clear, and as new apparitions come in sight throughout the sky at early evening's rise, so that one's vision seems 
and seems not true meseemed that new subsistences i there began to see and that a ring was forming outside the other two circumferences o oh, thou true sparkling of the holy spirit how suddenly and glowingly it flashed before mine eyes which vanquished stood it not but beatrice revealed herself so fair and smiling that this vision must be left among those that followed not my memory i hence gained strength to raise mine eyes again and with my lady alone i saw myself born to a higher grade of blessedness i well perceived that i was higher up by reason of the stars and kindled smile which readier seemed to me than is its wont with all my heart and with that kind of speech which is the same in all i made to god such holocaust as was befitting this new grace and the ardour of my offered self had not yet been exhausted from my breast when i perceived that sacrifice was welcome and pleasing for to me there then appeared splendours between two rays so bright and red that i exclaimed o oh, helios who dost so adorn them as the galaxy bedecked with smaller and with greater lights so glimmers between the world's poles that even the wise are led to doubt thus constellated in the depths of mars those rays describe the honoured sign which in a circle quadrant joinings make my memory overcomes my genius here because that cross so lightened forth the christ that i can find therefore no fit example but whosoever taketh up his cross and follows christ will pardon me again for what i leave when in that glow he sees the christ flush forth lights moved about from arm to arm and tween the summit and the base and sparkled brightly when they met and when they passed each other thus we here see straight and crooked swift and slow and ever renewing their appearance particles of bodies long and short as through a ray they move whereby at times that shade is streaked which folk to shield them make with skill and art and as a viol or a harp attuned with many strings a pleasant tinkling makes for one by whom the music is not caught so from the lights which there appeared to me a melody was gathered through the cross which wrapped me though i made not out the hymn i well perceived it was of lofty praise because arise and conquer came to me as to who heard but did not understand so much in love with it did i become that naught had ever fettered me before with such sweet bonds my words perhaps appear too bold in that they lower set the pleasure given me by the lovely eyes looking in which my longing finds its rest but who considers that the living seals of all fair things do more the higher up and that i had not there looked up at them may pardon me for what to be excused i'm self-accused and see that i speak true for here the holy joy is not excluded since as it mounts the purer it becomes paradiso fifteen the fifth heaven mars the happiness of heroism martyrs of religion and altruism Gachaguida. the kindly will wherein is always shown the love which is by righteousness inspired as greed is 
in the evil will revealed. Silence imposed on that sweet singing lyre, and caused those holy chords to be at rest which heaven's right hand slackens and draweth tight how shall those substances to righteous prayers be deaf who ceased from song with one accord to give me the desire to pray to them tis well that he should boundlessly lament who for the sake of that which lasteth not deprives himself for ever of that love as through serene and quiet evening skies that darts from time to time a sudden fire which startles tranquil eyes that were at rest and seems to be a star which changes place saving that naught is missing where it flashed and that itself lasts but a little while so from the arm which to the right extends down to that cross's foot there ran a star drawn from the constellation shining there nor from its ribbon did the gem depart but through the radial band ran on and looked like fire when back of alabaster moving with like affection did anchises shade reach forth if our best news deserve belief when in elysium he perceived his son O thou my blood, O overflowing grace of God, to whom as unto thee was ere the gate of heaven unlocked a second time. Thus spoke that light, hence I thereto gave heed. Then to my lady, turning back my face, I was on this side and on that amazed, for such a smile was glowing in her eyes that I with mine thought I had touched the depths, both of my grace and of my paradise. Thereat a pleasure both to hear and see the spirit joined to his beginning things I did not fathom, so profound his speech. Nor did he hide himself from me by choice, but by necessity, for his conception set itself higher than a mortal's aim. And when the bow of his impassioned love had so relaxed its tension that his words descended to the level of our mind the first thing that was understood by me was blessed be thou that trying and one hast been so courteous to my seed and he went on a pleasing and a long protracted fast derived from reading in the mighty volume wherein no white nor dark is ever changed hast thou relieved my son within this light in which i now address thee thanks to her who for the lofty flight hath feathered thee thou deemest that to me thy thoughts flow down from him who primal is as from a one if known it be proceeds a five and six yet who i am thou dost not ask of me nor wherefore i appear to thee more glad than any other in this joyous throng thou deemest what is true because the small and great of this life hath that mirror gaze wherein before thou think thou showest thy thought but that the holy love wherewith i watch with sight perpetual and which causes me to thirst with sweet desire may be fulfilled the better let thy voice firm bold and glad proclaim the will proclaim the wish whereto my answer has already been decreed to beatrice i turned and she had heard before i spoke and smiled a nod to me which caused the wings of my desire to grow then i thus when the first equality revealed himself to you wisdom and love became for each of you of equal weight because the sun whose heat and light illumined and warmed you is of such equality that all comparisons therewith are poor but 
in the case of mortals, will and speech, because of reasons manifest to you, are differently feathered in their wings. Hence I, who mortal am, now realize this inequality, and render thanks with heart alone to thy paternal greeting. I earnestly beseech thee, living topaz, set in this precious jewel like a gem, that with thy name thou make me satisfied. O oh, thou, my leaf, in whom I pleasure took, while still awaiting thee thy root I was. He thus, as he replied to me, began, and then he said to me, The one from whom thy family is named, and who hath circled the mountain for a hundred years and more around the first ledge was my son, and thy great grandsire well behooveth it that thou should shorten by thy work his long fatigue florence within the ancient ring of walls from which she still receives her tears and knowns sober and modest still abode in peace no bracelets had she then nor coronets nor dames with ornamented shoes or belts more likely to be looked at than themselves nor did a daughter frighten yet at birth her father for her marriage age and dowry have ran in neither way due measure yet no houses had she void of families nor yet had a sardanapalus come to show us what could be achieved in halls. Nor yet had Monte Malo been surpassed by your Uccellatio, which, had done in its ascent, will be so in its fall. Bellinciamberti, going girt, I saw, with bone and leather, and his lady leave a looking-glass without a painted face and nerly's lord i saw and the delvecchios with unlined skins contented and their dames with spindle and with thread o oh, lucky woman sure of her burial place was each and none as yet deserted in her bed for france one stayed awake absorbed in cradle cares and used in comforting the speech which forms a father's and a mother's first delight another from her disturbed drawing flax repeated for her household olden tales about the trojans fiesole and rome as great a marvel then would a Giangela o lapo saltarolo have been held as thin senatus or cornelia now to such a calm and beautiful town life to such a safe community to such a pleasant inn did mary called aloud give me and at the same time i became within your ancient baptistry a christian and Cacciagida Moronto was my brother, and Elisio. From the Po's valley came my lady to me, and from her name thine was formed. The Emperor Conrad afterward I followed, and among his chivalry he belted me a knight. By my good deeds I so obtained his favour. In his train I went against that law's iniquity, whose people through your shepherd's fault usurps your jurisdiction there by that vile folk was i released from that deceitful world the love of which debases many souls and from my martyrdom attained this peace paradiso sixteen the fifth heaven mars the happiness of heroism the old 
and the new population of Florence. O oh, thou, our small nobility of blood, that thou shouldst make some people boast of thee down here, where languid our affections are, will never be to me a wondrous thing, for there, where love turns not aside, in heaven I mean, even I myself was proud of thee. Thou truly art a cloak which soon grows short, so that from day to day, if thou be not patched out, time goes around thee with its shears. Hence, with the yew which Rome the first endured, and in whose use her race least perseveres, my words began again. Whence Beatrice, who at a little distance from me stood, by smiling here, resembled her who coughed at the first fault ascribed to Guinevere. You are my father, I began to say. You to my speech complete assurance give. You so uplift me that I'm more than I. My mind is by so many brooklets filled with joy that it congratulates itself that, without breaking, it can stand the strain. Tell me then, you, my dear progenitor, who were your ancestors, and what the years which in your boyhood's time were chronicled, and tell me of the sheepfold of St. John, how large it was, and who were in it then, that in the highest seats deserved to sit. As at the breathing of the winds a coal is quickened into flame, even so I saw, at my endearing words, that bright light glow, and to mine eyes as fairer it became, so with a gentler and a sweeter voice, but not in this our modern form of speech, it said to me, From that day on when hail was uttered to the childbirth, when my mother, who now is sainted, was relieved of me who burdened her, this fire had to its lion four hundred fifty and thirty times returned to light itself again beneath its paws. My first progenitors and I were born just there, where first the town's last ward is found by him who runneth in your annual race. Let of my forebears this suffice to hear, for as to who they were, and whence came hither, silence is more commendable than speech. All those that tween Mars' statue and the Baptist, who at that time were able to bear arms, were but the fifth of those that live there now. But then its citizens, who now with men from Campi, Cataldo, and Fagini mix, were in the lowest artisan, seen pure. Oh, how much better it would be to keep as neighbours those to whom I here refer, and at Galuzzo and Trespiano mark our boundary than have them in our town, and bear the stench of Ugaglione's churl and seniors, who for graft hath sharpened eyes. If those who in the world are lowest fallen, hath not stepmother-like to Caesar been, but kind, as to her son a mother is. One such is now a Florentine, and barters and trades, who would have turned to Semifonte, where formerly his grandsire mounted guard. The Conte still would own the Monte Merlo, the Gerci in Acone's parish be, and in the Val de Grebe still, perhaps, the Bound del Monte. Ever was the mixing of clans, the fountain of the city's woe, as of the body's ill-superfluous food. 
for sooner will a blinded bull succumb than will a blinded lamb and one sword oft will cut both more and better than will five if thou consider luni and urbisagnia how they have gone and how now in their wake chiusi and sinigaglia go their way it will not seem or strange for thee or hard to hear how families degenerate since even cities have their term of life all your creations die as well as you but death conceals itself in some that long endure while individual lives are short and as the turning of the lunar sphere covers and bears earth's shores without cessis even so doth fortune deal with florence hence it should not seem a wondrous thing to thee what i of those great florentines shall say whose fame is hidden in the folds of time i saw the ugi and saw the catalini felipi greci ormani and alberici though in decline illustrious citizens and i as great as they were ancient saw with him of la Sanella, him of larca the saldanieri ardingi and bostici over the gate which is at present burdened with recent felony of such great weight that there will soon be jetsam from the bark the rabignani dwelt from whom there sprang count guido and whoever since his time hath noble bellincione's name assumed he of la pressa knew already how to rule and galli gaio in his house already had a gilded hilt and pommel mighty already were the column of the ver sacchetti giucci fifanti and barucci the galley and those that for the bushel blush the stock whence the calfucci sprang was great already while already were the sezii and arigucci raised to coral chairs and oh how great i saw those now undone through arrogance then too the golden balls decked florence forth in all her mighty deeds so likewise fared the ancestors of those who when your church is vacant always fatten by staying in consistory together the haughty race which like a dragon deals with those that flee and unto those that show their teeth or purse is peaceful as a lamb was rising now but from so low a clan that ubertine donati was displeased when by his own wife's father made their kin already had the caponsacho dropped from fiesole into the market while as townsmen good were gida and infangato i'll tell a thing incredible and true the small ring then was entered by a gate which from the della Perra took its name each one who bears that mighty baron's arms whose name and whose renown the festival of thomas keepeth green received from him knighthood and privilege though he to-day consorteth with the people who surrounds them with a border both the gualtarotti and importuni were already there and now their borgo would more quiet be if from new neighbours it were fasting still the family which to your tears gave birth through the just scorn which brought about your death and put an end to your once happy life was honoured in itself and in its kin how buon del monte ill advised thou wast to flee their marriage counselled by another many would happy be who now are sad if god had to the ema granted thee when coming for the first time into town but florence to that mutilated stone which guards the bridge must needs a sacrifice afford 
when in her final hour of peace. With these same families, and others with them, Florence I saw in such a state of rest that no occasion had she then for tears. With these same families I saw her then so glorious and so righteous that the lily was never set upon a staff reversed, nor made because of a division. Red. End of chapter 67